Well, we are on that big breaking news about the Lashkar-e Taiba claiming responsibility of the Uri attack. India had always maintained it was the attack from Pakistan soil, but Pakistan vehemently denied its involvement. But here it is for you to see posters that have surfaced in the Gujranwala town announcing that the Lashkar-e Taiba will be holding the last rites in absentia for one of the four terrorists. Remember, four terrorists were gunned down by the security forces who had attacked the Indian Army's 12th Brigade at Uri that had killed 20 soldiers and these are the posters that go on uh, to say that they will be now performing the last rites of one of the terrorists he is a resident of Gujranwala who operated under the name of uh, Abu Sirak that's the news that we have but the big news is how Pakistan had accused India of behaving in a certain manner, of behaving irresponsibly by accusing Pakistan of that attack in Uri. And now, here it is for everybody to see how Pakistan's lies are exposed yet again through these posters that have surfaced in this particular town. These posters have appeared in Gujranwala. It announces that the Lashkar-e Taiba will be holding the last rites for one of the four terrorists who had attacked the Indian Army's brigade. And this, in fact, that attack, in fact, led to the surgical strikes that were made across the line of control in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Pakistan once again standing exposed. So this is a big breaking news that we've just received about these posters that have a surfaced at uh, on in fact the Gujranwala streets with the lashkar e taiba claiming responsibility all along pakistan has been maintaining that uh, india had reacted in haste by blaming pakistan for the uri attack but now these posters only tell the truth how these posters go on to say that they would be now performing the last rites of one of the four terrorist who had attacked the Indian Army's 12th Brigade at Uri in which 12 of our soldiers lost their lives that in fact had led the Indian go government to have uh, planned those successful surgical strikes. We have with us editor India Today Shiv Arur for more on this. Shiv, can you tell us a little bit more about these posters that once again nail Pakistan's lies? Yes, uh, India Today has gotten exclusive access to this poster from the Lashkar-e Taiba, which actually shows both Hafiz Mohammad Saeed and an individual. The individual on the top left-hand corner of that poster actually happens to be one of the terrorists who was part of the attack from the Lashkar-e Taiba. He's claimed and owned up here by the Lashkar-e Taiba. It basically congratulates them and pays respect to their Lashkar martyrs clearly and explicitly taking responsibility for the Uri attack. Remember, ever since the Uri attack actually happened, even though India has provided ample evidence to Pakistan, uh, you know, about uh, the, the attack being orchestrated from Pakistani soil, Pakistan itself officially has denied it. It has said that this is, uh, you know, this is an Indian conspiracy to make Pakistan look bad. And here you have it, the largest state asset of Pakistan, Hafiz Mohammad Saeed himself and his organization itself, putting out this elaborate poster, taking responsibility for the Uri attack. It cannot get clearer or more explicit than this. In fact, this poster also talks about a meeting, a public meeting that's being scheduled for today at about 4.30 p.m. today in Lahore or Murid K, which Hafiz Mohammed Saeed personally will be addressing to pay respect to the martyrs of Uri. So we've been able to scoop this poster long before that meeting actually happens. And it once again puts a big ball in Pakistan's court as far as explicit evidence that the Uri attack in which so many Indian soldiers were killed happened from Pakistani soil by Pakistani nationals. Oh, absolutely. And explicit evidence uh, coming up in Pakistan on its soil about uh, how the terrorists uh, from Pakistan were involved in the Uri attack. Shiv, just stay with me. We're getting in some breaking news right now. What we're hearing is that heavy shelling and small firearms... Uh,